Hey everyone, this is Jason here at Source Graphics, and today we're gonna to be talking all about the Ultimaker S7, Ultimaker's latest 3D printer. We're gonna be going into the specs, what's new, and everything you need to know. Now, before we get started, huge favor to ask, if you could like and subscribe, lets us know that people like you actually wanna see these videos. So the more of you that like the video and subscribe, the more of these videos will be sure to turn out. And now with that out of the way, let's dive into it. Now I'm gonna be honest, when the S7 was first announced and we were getting some of the information in terms of specs and features, on the surface, especially on paper, I kind of had my reservations. You know, when you compare it to the S5, it's pretty similar. Uh, it's got the same build volume, uh, uses the same print cores, all of that. But after getting to use it for about a week and a half, two weeks now, there are just so many small refinements and features that Ultimaker has added that really add up to an excellent 3D printing experience. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the specs on the Ultimaker S7. Much like the Ultimaker S5, the S7 is also a dual extrusion fused filament fabrication 3D printer. FFF or FDM, whatever you want to call it. It takes the same print cores as the rest of the S line in the Ultimaker line of 3D printers. So you can use your same AA, BB, and CC print cores for your build, water soluble, and abrasive materials. The build volume on the Ultimaker S7 is going to be 330 by 240 by 300 millimeters. And also for the first time on an Ultimaker printer, the Ultimaker S7 comes equipped with a PEI coated flexible build plate, which I just love. We'll get into it in a second. Uh, it also has a new 1080p camera up here with a better viewing angles and a much better resolution. And the connectivity is actually stabilized and uh, actually made a lot better. So it is more stable on a 2.4 gigahertz as well as a five gigahertz network connection. And of course, as usual, you have your uh, print from USB right up here at the front and you can connect it to your local network via ethernet. All right, so now let's dive into what makes the Ultimaker S7 much different from the other printers in the S line. Like I had mentioned at the top, Ultimaker really just added a lot of little things that really improve the overall printing experience, right? So uh, one of those things is the integrated air manager. So if you are familiar with Ultimaker S5, you know that there is a separate peripheral that you can purchase as either its own unit or as the part of the pro bundle that's called the air manager. And it sits right on top and filters out 95% of ultra fine particles. Similar to that, the Ultimaker S7 has an integrated air manager. So that is actually inside the unit. That's why it's so much taller is because inside there is the air manager and it's doing the same thing. It's filtering out that, uh, those particles that are in the printing process kind of coming off of, the, off of your parts. It's great because you can put it in an office environment like the one that we're in right now and feel confident knowing that uh, it's, it's not gonna be kicked out into the air. And so because the air manager is integrated into the uh, printer itself and it's not a separate unit, and also something else that's changed is this door that's compared to the S5 has fewer cracks kind of along it. It doesn't sort of fold out with the double doors. It's just a single door unit. Both of those things combined allow the sort of ambient temperature of the S7's build volume to stay a little bit more controlled, right? So a lot of that heat's not able to escape either out of the front door or out of the top of, you know, just those small cracks that the separate uh, peripheral kind of exposed uh, to that, which is really nice. Um, helps when you're printing with engineering materials like your nylons, ABSs, things like that. So that's definitely an improvement uh, on the Ultimaker S7. All right, so now let's talk about my favorite thing, which is the flexible PEI coated build plate on the Ultimaker S7. Now this thing Really, I mean, if you've used a flexible plate in the past, you know its benefits, right? Uh, because it's flexible and because of the PEI coating on it, your parts are going to stick to this so well. It helps with the first layer adhesion so you don't get nearly the same sort of warping that you might on a glass bed. Um, if you have used the glass beds before, you know that oftentimes you do have to put either PVA glue or you need to use a um, uh, some sort of adhesive to ensure that your parts stick. Well. Thankfully with this, because of the coating on it, it really does help with keeping your parts stuck on the build plate. And then once your part is finished, it's as easy as flexing this and parts come right off, which is fantastic. You know, if you 
have a glass plate, you're probably very familiar with this, the scraper. This is a very dirty scraper, but nonetheless, you're very familiar with it. Well, you can say goodbye. It's, you don't need it anymore. Installing the PEI coated build plate is really simple. The build plate has 24 magnets that will hold it into place. And then there are four pins that you align on the build plate that once aligned, you just drop down the build plate and it will adhere really easily to the, uh, to the print bed. Now we all know that the first layer in 3D printing is by far the most important, right? You really want that first layer to stick. And thankfully, Ultimaker has made a lot of improvements just on that initial uh, phase of the 3D printing process that will help your first layer to stick. So one of the things that they've done is they've actually changed from uh, capacitive sensors to inductive sensors in the Ultimaker S7. The sensor there is actually able to detect that distance between the print bed and the print core, the print head, far more accurate uh, compared to the capacitive sensors. The print head itself, one of the changes that they've also made are uh, just a redesigned uh, fan. So now uh, you shouldn't get some problems with stringing uh, getting tied up into the fan itself because it's pushing air as opposed to pulling it in, which is great. And then also they have added a sensor, a flood detection sensor into the print head. So if something does happen where you get that spaghetti, we've all seen the spaghetti before where it's just printing in midair and sometimes that can cause your print head to flood completely. And once you've done that, it's, it's never fun to clean up. Well, what it is going to do is once that bracket actually pops open with the fan, uh, it is going to stop the process of printing completely. So that should prevent any further printing from happening and causing that flooding to really destroy your print head, which is a huge plus. One of the questions that we fielded a lot when the S7 was first announced was, is it compatible with the material station from the uh, Ultimaker S5? And the answer is yes, it is compatible with that material station. So you can either purchase it separately uh, if you decide further down the line that you need that material station, or you can purchase it as a pro bundle, similar to the Ultimaker S5 pro bundle. As far as pricing goes, the Ultimaker S7 goes for $8,299 and the Ultimaker S7 Pro Bundle is going to be $11,500 for the entire bundle, which includes the, uh, the S7 itself and the material station. And that's the Ultimaker S7. It's a fantastic iterative update over the Ultimaker S5 that improves upon so many of the things that Ultimaker is known for. I have a feeling that this is going to make the 3D printing process just that much easier for a lot of people. Now, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. And if you do, you can reach out to us. Feel free to email us at info at sourcegraphics.com or just give us a call. You'll talk to me or you'll talk to somebody on our team and we will get your questions answered uh, the best that we can. With that, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more videos from us and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from Source Graphics. This is me and my buddy, the Ultimaker S7. I love you.